of the Astoria Film Festival Media Production Lab is for ages 15 to 30, with a focus on representation of underrepresented participants. I'm here in this program to gain more experience and knowledge on film. I'm hoping to just further my my skill level with this program and just to gain more experience making films. And I'm here because my teacher told me this would be an amazing opportunity and who am I to doubt him? I just wanted to do more about like filming, so that's why I joined this internship. We teach film and video production by guiding our lab fellows through the pre-production, production, and post-production of film and media projects. Our education and outreach is focused on building skills, experience, and connections. Lab Fellows work with Astoria Film Festival staff as well as various other industry professionals. And I hope that these little hints on how film production is done professionally might help you tell your story better. We are on the stage a lot prior to their filming and um, after they're, they're done filming, just to make sure that they are following our protocols in terms of how they're building and then how they're taking things down. WPP is the parent company um, to leading global agencies, like leading ad agencies, comms firms, media agencies. So the note is one out of every three ad that you hear or see is made by a company we own. And the big question is, will AI take your job? And, but no is the answer actually. Um, but someone who is using AI most likely will. You need to be empathetic to what the actor's process is. You need to have a shared vocabulary. You need to know what it is you're asking them to do and how to get the best performance out of them. Thanks to our partnership with the MBS group at Kaufman Astoria Studios, Lab Fellows got to tour the studios and hear all about its history. They also got to participate in the MBS Group's Illumination Training Program, where they were trained in on-set protocols for grip and gaffing work by industry experts. The difference between being the contractor and being the artist is understanding the distance that makes it feel right when you're looking at it to the eye. It's the clove hitch, trucker's hitch, and the bowling. All the knots date back to nautical stuff. You see how Cher hair kind of falls flat? There's no dimension to it. There's nothing separating her. When you step back, you add the backlight. Do you see how that starts highlighting all of the little pieces of her hair? And then just give yourself an extra, so you tighten it to tight, and then just give it a little extra turn. Let's say I want to cut it to the top of that box, right? Magenta is opposite of green. So if I wanted to pull green out, I'd have to put a magenta gel on this light to make it less green. The easiest way to open a spring-loaded stand is one leg at a time. Start from the bottom. Starting with the bottom, and your middle, it's open, you place it, and you need to go. The shooting best boy, the rigging best boy, and the rigging gaffer, when everyone shows up on set, will take a one half hour tour through the whole place so he can explain, or she can explain how they ran everything. Daylight, HMI color, right? Now, rather than running around and having an entire crew full of people cutting gels and stuff, watch this. Mm -hmm. What does that look like? Tungsten. Tungsten. Isn't that pretty incredible? And the beauty is, is that you could do every color temperature in between. Since we're a disability-friendly organization, we aim to be inclusive and accessible with someone with one arm to climb like a ladder that high or to like tie something like that. I usually ask for help for these things. And so for me, it really took me out of my comfort zone to actually try and like challenge myself and do something different. So I like that part a lot. <laughs> Said there were people before they worked with who had disabilities and physical disabilities and they had like a veteran with one arm and I was like that was really inspiring for me it made me feel like okay like I can actually do this like this is something I can conquer. Oh, so here, so hold it like this. Yeah, what, are you left No problem. Your right -handed, right -handed. Don't even uh, oh. take it on your right side. Okay. Stick next to me, we'll work so together on it. Tighten that back. Okay. Okay, getting connected to you was like one of my favorite things because I like texted you on Instagram and that was like the first like 
big girl stuff I ever did where I was like, and it worked out. Um, being able to do the Ruth makeups booth, like creating those graphics and stuff, that was really um, entertaining. This was very educational. I definitely feel like I'm going to take all this information and make new films with it. So I'm really excited about that. Um, it's like uh, interesting to learn. I never knew how um, heavy the equipment were. <laughs> yes. yes. <laughs> to do, uh, yeah, to pull up and everything. And also like, uh, the hours on set, I never knew about that. It would be 10 to 12 hours. At least, at eight. minimum, yeah. yes. Yes, that was interesting to learn about. Because <laughs> the stuff I was born to like do, like I like doing hands-on stuff. I would do it like again. I was bullied as a kid. Like I was always sad and I thought I was like the eyeball out. But then I remember like, oh, I have 298 children in my head. And I can remember <laughs> staging from Wicked since I saw it in uh, June like 9, 2015. I still remember it. I'm excited for gaffing, but I'm also excited to put it into like crew work on stage as well. It has been quite an interesting but challenging experience. No complaints, to be honest. I never thought I'd visit that Kaufman studio knowing certain movies that I remember watching growing up. People with disabilities have every right to work, especially work that they're passionate, passionate of. It's been pretty amazing. I found it really insightful. Uh, again, like things and people that I wouldn't ever meet in, in my classroom um, and things that I would never know unless I would actually get a job in production. And so now I have like a head start um, knowledge. Uh, every time I learn something new about the behind the scenes work, it makes me even more interested in becoming a part of it. Like, this is the first time I get to apply my skills outside of school. In class, we're limited to like small, smaller groups. So I feel like working in a bigger group really gets like, makes me better acquainted with, with like how it actually works uh, in the real world. So I, I think I like that, that new aspect of teamwork and like all the different uh, divisions and jobs. I had a lot of fun uh, learning all these new skills that I will keep with me. It's been fun, it's been fun. Especially for like a long time, it didn't feel like a long time. It was, it was really cool. The projects they create feature underrepresented people. So the end result is increased representation, both in front of and behind the camera. Hi, my name is Ruth. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I've been a professional makeup artist going on 19 years. I've worked on many sets with many celebrity clients and I would love to show you how to get some of those looks. Well, I chose some of these items for my glam look because they're going to have a little bit more coverage for your, when you close your eyes, you sort of feel your eyeball. And sort of, that's usually where you want to concentrate on your darker colors. They also have a great line of um, foundations and it is very budget friendly and good ingredients. I'm gonna use the L'Oreal. But I'm also going to show you um, another foundation, which is sort of like a tinted, what you would say a tinted moisturizer is. It's a few of the budget-friendly items that I use myself. We have, give me another color. I will use a moisturizer. And again, it, it all depends on the client and what their needs are. You put more, more product to cover it, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's just going to disappear. You're just getting rid of the coloring of that spot. I just like to meet new people. And I think that's one of the things that I love. Um, and I also get to paint, like it's, it's, it's art in a, in a way, right? Um, if I'm not on a set, I'm 
doing editorial work or I'm doing red carpet looks that I get to be a part of the process of creating. I think we're good. That was everyone? Okay, uh, camera.